Hey guys, what's going on? In the previous video, we learned how we can install wireless driver to your Kali Linux or Parrot operating system and enable the Wi-Fi feature. In this video, we are going to learn how we can connect our USB wireless adapter to our virtual machine and enable monitor mode in it. Well, let me point out this right now. If you have a wireless USB adapter that supports both packet injection and monitor mode, then the steps that you will follow to enable monitor mode in your wireless adapter would be completely different from that of mine. The reason is because I use a TP-Link TLWN722N version 2 wireless adapter and according to the manufacturer, it does not support packet injection and monitor mode. Well, it does not matter to us. We are going to anyway override its firmware and make it support packet injection and monitor mode. So if you have a wireless adapter that supports packet injection and monitor mode, then you can skip the firmware overriding step and can jump directly into enabling the monitor mode section, which you can identify from the timestamps displayed at the bottom section. All right, so let's begin. First of all, we are going to learn how we can connect our USB wireless adapter to the virtual box. For that, go ahead and connect your USB wireless adapter to the USB port. After doing that, go ahead and click on devices go to usb and select the wireless adapter that you have connected to the port in my case this is 802.11n network interface card nic well if you don't know which out of these is your wireless adapter well it's pretty simple first of all make a note of what all these options are then go ahead and remove your wireless adapter then come back and check in devices and usb and find which one of them is missing in my case, it's that 802.11 NNIC and when I connect it back, as you can see here. And if I go to devices again and check on USB, as you can see, the Realtek 802.11 NNIC is the new options. So go ahead and choose your wireless adapter. Okay, after doing that, wait for a few seconds and then go ahead and click on this particular button right over here. After clicking, if it does not open, then you have to wait for an additional 2 to 3 seconds and then go ahead and click. After clicking, as you can see, my Wi-Fi's are listed right over here. That means my wireless adapter is now working fine. Now what you need to do is you need to go to your terminal, then switch to the root user, provide the password. Now you need to type iwconfig and if you hit enter, you can find the wireless interface that we have just connected. In my case, it's LAN0. But in your case, if you had followed my previous video, then you will get LAN2 as the wireless interface and not LAN0. Well, anyways, there is a neat way of identifying which ad Wi-Fi adapter is connected to which wireless interface. Just look at the nickname and if it has a nickname, that means your wireless adapter is connected to that particular wireless interface. So in my case, nickname is on VLAN 0. That means my wireless adapter is connected to VLAN 0. That's one more neat way of identifying where your Wi-Fi adapter is connected. So remember the interface is VLAN 0. Now, there is one more thing that you need to look right over here. On VLAN 0, we have our Wi-Fi adapter connected. And if you look at the mode, it's clearly mentioned that it is managed and we would like to change it from managed to monitor mode. So that's what we are going to do right now. So if you had a wireless adapter that supports both packet injection and monitor mode, then this is the step that you're going to follow to enable monitor mode in your wireless adapter. So you would be typing airmon-ng space check space kill and this will kill all the processes. And if you look at right over here, as you can see, the networking has been disabled. Now you need to type airmon-ng space start space the wireless interface in which your Wi-Fi adapter is connected. In my case, it's VLAN 0, but in your case, it might be VLAN 2. So now remember that my Wi-Fi adapter does not support monitor mode. So this execution will result in a failure. But if you have a wireless adapter that supports monitor mode, then this will create a new interface for you. As you can see, newly created monitor mode interface LAN 0 mode is not in monitor mode because it does not support monitor mode. But in your case, you might get a new interface named LAN 0 mode or LAN 2 mode or anything that ends with a mode. So if I type iwconfig, hit enter, 
as you can see the vlan 0 is still managed but if you had a wireless adapter that supports both packet injection and monitor mode then a new wireless interface will be created and inside that the mode will be monitor all right so it clearly says that my particular wi-fi adapter that is tp-link tlwn722n which you can read from here there you go my chipset is tp-link tlwn722n version 2 and it does not support monitor mode so now what we are going to do is we are going to override its firmware to make it support monitor mode so follow this step carefully yeah before i move further let, there is one more thing that i need to say right over here as you can see my network manager is down now and i would like to start my network manager again so the neat little command that we're going to type to enable our network manager is basically service space network manager with both n and m capital space restart and this will restart and enable your network manager all right let me clear the screen so now follow the steps carefully to override its firmware first of all we are going to clone a git repository that can be done by typing git clone then the link to that particular repository and hit enter now let me cd into that repository hit ls as you can see these are all the contents inside that particular repository now you need to type two additional commands first one is this particular command and hit enter since the firmware of my wireless adapter has been already overridden hence i am not going to do it again but in your case you have to run this particular command after running this particular command you have to type this particular command and hit enter once again i am not going to do that since my particular wi-fi adapter has its firmware already been overridden and after that you need to reboot your system so for that you gotta type reboot and after rebooting you will be able to change managed mode into monitor mode so after you have done that you should type iwconfig hit enter and you will still see that the mode is still managed now we are going to convert it into monitor mode remember that this particular method is only for those who have tp-link twn722n as their wi-fi adapter for all other users who have a wireless adapter that supports packet injection and monitor mode well i have already discussed how you can enable monitor mode in that all right so now what we're going to do we are going to bring this wireless interface down so for that type ifconfig space lan zero space down hit enter and this will bring this wireless interface down and you can check that by going and clicking on this particular button and you won't be able to see the wi-fi networks as it is disabled right over here now we are going to change our mode from managed to monitor for that type iw space dev space the interface at which your usb wireless adapter is connected in my case it is lan zero space set type monitor and hit enter now if i go ahead and type iwconfig as you can see now the mode has been changed to monitor so there you go we have successfully overridden its firmware and now it supports monitor mode as well now let me make your life much easier first of all let me disable the monitor mode and come back to managed mode for that type iw space dev space lan zero space set type managed and hit enter this will now convert your managed monitor mode to managed mode as you can see right over here now let me bring that interface up as well so i'll type ifconfig space lan zero space up and this will bring up my interface as will be shown in here a moment now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make your life much easier instead of following those steps i'm going to give you a shell script which upon execution will switch your wireless interface into monitor mode and remember this particular shell script is only for those users who use tp-link as their wireless usb adapter let me navigate to that file where i have saved that bash script all right so now i'm inside the directory which contains my bash script that will help me change into monitor mode and that particular script is right over here this is the bash script that will enable me to change into monitor mode so what i'm going to do is i'm going to execute this bash script and remember this particular file should be in executable mode and if you want to change this file into executable mode first of all you need to type chmod space plus x space 
Wi-Fi initiator and hit enter and this will now be changed to executable mode. Now we can execute this particular file by tapping dot forward slash Wi-Fi initiator space the wireless interface at which your USB wireless adapter is connected. In my case it is LAN 0. So hit enter and as you can see it has changed my mode into monitor and if I type IW config hit enter as you can see my mode has been changed to monitor and if you look take a look right over here my wireless interface has also been disabled now let me tell you a fact if you are in monitor mode then you won't be able to connect to near, nearby wireless network you can only listen to the packets but you can't connect so if you want to connect to a nearby wireless network then you must get out from monitor mode into managed mode and how are we gonna do that it's simple you just need to type iw space dev space the interface at which your wireless device is connected in my case it is LAN 0 space set type managed and if you hit enter this will change the monitor mode to manage mode and now you need to bring up this particular interface that is by typing if config space the interface space up hit enter and finally we need to restart the network manager so that can be done by typing service space network manager space restart hit enter and this will bring your network manager back so that's all in this video i hope you really enjoyed this particular video and make sure to subscribe to your channel because in future we are going to roll out much much more exciting stuffs and we are going to dive into practical hacking as well so take care bye bye and see you in the next video